Good, good, beautiful Saturday morning. I'm sure a lot of you are resting this morning, but um, I wanted to come on anyway um, because I moved to get this message out. Um, I think it's important that, uh, you know, the smile mantra is not just um, for smiling, but the... Um, other part about it is learning what each letter of the smile mantra means. Um, again, the smile mantra stands for study, meditate, inspire, laugh, and elevate every day. Okay. So um, this morning after meditation, I thought it was important that I bring forth something that is very important. Um, you know, love affairs are at a challenge a lot of times because of lack of understanding. <laughs> um, I have a lot of clients that I deal with um, just their frustration of not understanding their lover. They don't understand that their lover loves their way and they love their way, right? So I wanted to talk about this because I think this is going to help people in their love affairs. The smile mantra is one of the reasons why I developed the mantra. Because I'm trying to give you guys a reminder that studying requires us to not just, you know, grab books and read them. But it's also to build education in our love affairs that we are in. <laughs> okay. So let's get started. So SMILE, like I said earlier, stands for study, meditate, inspire, laugh, and elevate every day. But we're going to talk about studying our lover's way of loving. So I think it's important. I'm going to first pick on the ladies because this morning we're going to talk about how we tend to misread how our man loves us, right? We have a tendency to get confused and not understand that they love us the way they do. And then also how we tend to demand them to love us the way we love them. <laughs> so this is going to be very interesting. We're going to just go on the journey with me. Go on the journey with me. And make sure to share this video because some people really need to hear this. I'm trying to make sure that we um, replace our thinking with new refreshed, fun, loving ways of having better love affairs. It has to happen and I'm going to help promote it, okay? So now here's the thing. So ladies, we have a tendency to love showing affection, right? We love by showing, um, we, we love giving gifts. We love giving kisses and holding and holding hands and we want to buy things for our man. Normally we spend a lot of time studying what our what our lover or what our man loves or likes, right? We like to know what sports team he likes and what where he likes to shop, what's his favorite cologne. These things we tend to make sure we know, right? So when it comes time for Christmas or gift giving, which is birthdays and stuff like that, we want to know what it is we want to buy him or what it is we think he needs that we should get him because, oh, he would do well with this or whatever, so we as women love to gift our men stuff. We love to buy him things. We love to shower him with things. We love to buy, 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 right? And and then we like to go places. We like to go, uh, you know, socializing and we like to tr go on trips. We like to hang out. Why do you think most of us women have girl trips? We have girl trips because we like to travel, okay? We like random new things. We like to adventure, and that's all well and fine. Not picking on you, but I'm just saying that's the way we like to express that we care or love our mate. We tend to do this. This is what we do as women, right? So get this. Here's the thing. Men love quite different. <laughs> Men aren't really gift givers. <laughs> we seem to get very frustrated when we want to see our man come in with roses and diamonds and taking us here and taking us there, taking us out to eat. And so, you know, men learn through 
their you know their their other friends or they learn from tv or they learn from you know their mother to buy your woman something is going to get you more favor in the bedroom that evening most men get it they know valentine's day is going to be hopping because i went and got her jewelry i went and got her this i bought her her favorite fragrances and all of that right and i get that that that's cool but is that really his style of loving you and this is where study comes in because we really i think we fail we fail our lovers a lot where we think that if our lover is doing something that we would do for them, for us, then they're showing us they love or they care about us. Which I think <laughs> because of the pressure, nine times out of ten, men buy us and take us places and do things for us because they feel that if I do these things, she's going to respond well. She's going to get that I care about her which is all fine, but I feel like we need to go a little bit deeper and pay a little bit closer attention to how we love someone, which is important. And we also need to learn that the way they love us is in their own way. So with that said, for instance, because we love to give our man gifts and stuff like that, that's fine. But what is his way of loving? And because I'm close to many men and I have a father and I have, you know, men in my life, I understand that men aren't wired the same, <laughs> not taking it away from their value at all, but then they're not wired to buy us stuff. They're not wired to take us here and take us there. That's not the way men show they love and care. Every man is different, but nine times out of 10, many men are not trying to take you to the mall and spend all day with you at the mall and take you out of town constantly. That's really not their way to wait. That is really not their way of showing that they love and care about you. So here's the thing. I think the part of studying your lover is important. We often ask our lovers when we're in our dating phase, we ask our lovers, well, so what was it like in your household when you were little? When you were a young kid, what did you see? How did you see love displayed, right? Don't we ask our, our men, like, what is it that they, they saw? What is it that they, that they, sh that they, what was their example of expressed love to them? And you would be surprised that, a lot of homes didn't have a lot of affection, hugging and kissing going on. Um, and it's just not, it's, it just wasn't a normal thing for a lot of men. And I, I, I've, I've decided to talk to men and get to know them and ask them questions because I feel like the more knowledge I have of men, the more I can convey to ladies that we're not getting this right. We're not, we're not, we're not loving men in the proper way. We're not understanding men. And when we don't understand them, a lot of times we are finding ourselves frustrated in our love affairs. So say for instance, a man that you're involved with doesn't really, has didn't really have a lot of love and infection. He didn't really see his mother and father kiss, hug and hold each other. His mother or father didn't really show a lot of hugging and holding. So you're expecting your lover to hug, hold, and kiss you all the time and hold your hand and take you here and take you there. And that's not what he saw in his, in his household. It was, it just wasn't there. Now, does that mean that he can change? Yes. But does that mean he's changing to appease you or is he changing because he wants to become that? That's what I'm saying. This is why it's important that we sit down and we study our lovers and allow them to be who they are. When we put all this pressure on our man, we want you to take us here and take us there and buy us this and buy us that. And he does those things. He's doing them out of obligation and he's doing them so that you understand he cares about you. But to the contrary, I want you guys to understand something. Most men love by showing you in a different way. And a lot of men show you they love you based upon the provisions that they put up for you. I'm going to say that again. 
Men show the way they love you based upon the provisions they put up for you. And we don't pay any attention to the provisions in place. We don't. I know handymen. I know electricians. I know businessmen. I know pastors. I know a lot of different men in a lot of different professions. And a lot of them, believe it or not, they put up provisions for the women they love. The reason they put up provisions for the women they love is because that is the way they know how to love you. What I mean by provisions, they make sure that your your tires are filled up. Because we as women, we don't pay no attention to that. They make sure your oil is changed. They make sure you have some life insurance. They make sure that you are good as far as financial. Probably, you know, make sure that the budgeting is done and financial stuff, health is in good is in a good standing. We don't we don't acknowledge that normally because that's not something we see outright. Yeah, when we jump in our car and go to work, we just jump in our car and go to work, we drive off. We don't realize that he got out before you went in there. He took your car, got the oil changed, got the tune up, checked and made sure your diagnostic readings were good. He did those things, but we don't we don't see that as that's a loving act or a loving expression. And we don't see that as love because we don't understand that. So without having understanding of what a man is displaying to you, a lot of times we don't appreciate it. And so, you know, it's like, well, sometimes it takes for a breakup or a death to happen before we realize, oh my God, you know, he used to do this for me. He used to make sure I had my coffee and, and ready in the morning. He used to make sure my tires were filled up. He would clean off my car in the morning. He would do this and he would do that. And I took it for granted because it wasn't what I saw. I didn't see the diamond. Okay. I didn't see the diamond in that. I didn't, I didn't feel a kiss on my lips. I didn't feel a hold or a hug or, or, a, or a embrace from him. So I didn't know that that was an action he was putting forth for me to feel appreciated. And so without that knowledge, I didn't understand it, nor did I really appreciate it or even acknowledge that that was happening. Nine times out of 10, most of us as women, we brag to our girlfriends about what our man does for us, right? We brag about all the stuff he buys us and takes us places and this and that, but we never talk about how he fills up our tires. We never talk about the life insurance policy he has, he has in place for us to make sure that if something haps, happens to him, we're good. We don't talk about that, do we? Because that's not, that's not something that we per se even realize is a action of love. This is why I'm telling ladies and people to study your lover. You have to pay attention to what they do for you to understand that is a way to where they're showing they love and care about you. They may not even say it to you, but in their actions, they show you and we're missing it every time because it's not something we physically can feel and brag about. It's something that's low key. They do certain things that shows shows you that they are that you are important to them and that they value you. This is why I say all the time when I talk about the smile mantra and I talk about smile and I talk about study. This is a part of study that most people aren't doing in their love affairs. They ask questions, yes, but they're asking questions to figure out, well, if if I if, if he loves or if he came from a household that really didn't have expressions of love um, in, in affectionate kinds of ways, then I'm going to teach him. I'm going to teach him how to love me. I'm going to teach him, well, in order to show me that you love me, I need you to go to Victoria's Secrets and buy me a gift card or buy me the bras. Here's my bra size. I need you to buy me this lingerie. This is what I need from you. When it's my birthday, I want you to go and do this. And so a man is just like, okay, you know, he's following direction. But that's not his, that's not his true expression of loving you. So you're missing it, unfortunately. You're missing that 
he's loving you based upon certain things that is important to him. Okay. So here's another, here's another clue. Pay attention. Here's another clue. When we love someone, we expect the love in return to be exactly the same, right? So if I love you by doing X, Y, and Z, I expect that same love to come back with to me the same exact way. That is not realistic, nor is it true. Most of the time when we love somebody, we love them in our own way. But that is it. That is all. It does not mean that because I love you this way and you love me that way, I'm getting a lesser valued love. You're getting a love in the same reciprocal energy. You just aren't paying attention to how that love is being displayed. <laughs> That's the problem. Here's where knowledge comes in. Because see, I always tell you that knowledge is the best intimacy. The more knowledge you have of your lover, the better you will have more great sex, more great intimacy, greater conversations, greater understanding. Your, your understanding within your love affair will improve based upon how you get it with your love. See what I'm saying? So if I'm love, my way of loving someone, I'll just say as, as an example, because I can use myself. It's easy. It's easy for me. So if I, if I love someone, I'm going to make sure that I prioritize time with them. I'm going to make sure that um, I, 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 I do certain things for him. Um, a lot of hugs and affection, kissing and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to promote him in my life. I'm going to make sure that he understands he's priority. That's my way. <laughs> okay. My way is my way though. It doesn't mean that if in turn I receive a love from him and he's he's displaying his love differently, it doesn't mean I'm getting a, a lesser love. It means he's loving me in his way, in his own way, which is a beautiful thing because now I have to realize that I have a puzzle here. My man is a puzzle. I now have to figure out, well, how is he loving me for real? Because I don't really, I don't know this type of love. I know what I have. See, and here's the thing. When we have our girlfriends, we know we can take our girls out. She likes this. We can go here. We can do this and do that. And we know our girlfriends will receive it because we love the same. We know what kind of perfume she likes. Oh, she's going to be so excited. Guess what? I get her this. And so we have a, a shared understanding of how our girlfriends love. So it's easy for us to sit down and be like, yeah, yeah, I know she, oh yeah, I'm going to get my bestie this. She, oh, she loves that, you know, and she's going to receive it in a very appreciative way because we, we get it. We're eye to eye with that, right? But if I took my man to a, <laughs> to a mall and we went from store to store to store and we, <laughs> and we went shopping for for hair stuff and makeup stuff and get my hair trimmed and all that. If I took him with me to do all of that, it would not be the same energy. It would not be received well. He'd be very agitated. Like, I'm ready to go. I don't want to stay here no longer. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to roll out. And so, um, and so most of the time, this is how we are flowing in our love affairs. We're right. We're trying to take our man to the mall and he don't love that way. He don't love that way. So then we try to get cute and say, okay, I'm going to take you to the stadium, to the football stadium. And then you, I know you appreciate that. But then in turn, I'm expecting you to now go with me to Victoria's Secrets and buy me something or take me to K Jewelers. That's not how this works. Love affairs has to be different. We have to learn that the way we love our love, our lover has to be in the way we love and we have to love and express the way we do without expectations uh-oh here's that word again expectations honey listen expectations kills intimacy every time so if you're giving your love away to your lover and you want to show him that you love him and you giving him all that stuff that you would want him to give you and you're giving it because in turn you're wanting it given back. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to be disappointed. Because <laughs> most men aren't going to do 
what we want them to do based upon how we want it to be done. And if a man is doing that, nine times out of ten, he's exhausted by it because he it's not in his it's not in his forte to do all of that. He wants to just do it his way. And once we understand, wait a minute, I'm not paying attention to the signs of how he's loving me. I'm not paying attention. I'm taking for granted that he makes my coffee in the morning. I'm taking it for granted that he fills my gas tank up for me. I'm taking it for granted that he's he's making sure that we have an emergency financial fund in place. I'm taking it for granted that he makes sure that uh, the gutters are cleaned out on the house. I'm taking those things for granted because I don't see that as expressions of love. I only see that as expressions of, you know, getting maintain maintaining the house and maintaining the cars. I get that. That's something that has to be done. But what you're not understanding is he's doing it to your car, <laughs> to your house that you're also living in. Without that maintenance and without those things in place, your your house would fall apart. He's changing the filters in your heater, your 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 in your furnace. You don't take it you take it for granted. Okay, I see he did that, but that's something that needs to be done. Okay, but he's doing that for you and him. He's making sure you guys are good. He's loving through provision. He's loving you and showing you I care about you. He's not going down the street and doing it for someone else. He's doing it for you. And so until we start to build the knowledge of our lover, we're going to constantly be in conflict and frustration with what we're not receiving. All right, you ready to know one way to resolve this? One way to resolve understanding and improving your love with your lover is stop taking everything for granted that he does for you. And what I mean by that is he just loves different. He doesn't love less. He loves differently. And in that difference of how he loves, it's okay. Appreciate that shit though. Because if it's not there, you're going to feel it. <laughs> because, oh, well, you know, I had, you know, my old boyfriend, he used to take me here and take me there. And, and my old lover used to do this for me. And my old lover did that for me. Okay, I get all that. And that's nice and stuff. But was he doing it because he knew that's what you wanted or was he doing it because it was really how he loves that's the question that's what you should be asking yourself is he loving me based upon his way and and am i appreciating his way am i loving the way he loves me or am i aggravated and agitated or frustrated by that because many women don't ask the women, ask the widows, ask the widows. That's who you ask. Ask widows, ask, ask women that lost their man, ask them. They'll tell you, I didn't, I didn't appreciate him cleaning my car off. I didn't appreciate him getting my oil changed. I didn't appreciate him checking on the tune-ups. I didn't appreciate him budgeting the money. I didn't appreciate that. And every damn time. Good morning, Christopher. Every damn time I miss what he did for me because I spent so much time trying to get him to love me the way I loved him. And in the process, I lost everything I had. We have to be we have to get back to learning our lover. <laughs> study. Yes, study. Ask questions. Why are we in love affairs and we don't ask nothing? I'm confused. Every time I'm coaching a, cl a client and, and they're in the, the, their, their unity with, with, with right before me, I'll sit there and I'll ask them, so, okay, what's going on? What's going on with the intimacy? Why is it not there? Well, she don't this and he don't that. Okay. Have you ever sat down and really paid attention to the acts that he does do what do you mean by that 
the acts he does. There's things this man is doing for you you don't even pay attention to, nor appreciate, nor care about. Yeah, he does. I mean, he does that. Okay. When your sink is clogged up, who do you go to? Well, I mean, he clear I mean, he clears the clogs and stuff, yeah. Honey, I'm a single mom, and I'm going to tell you right now, you are not valuing that man in your home taking care of stuff like that, which you should, because it costs a lot. Have you, I make, I make my clients, my woman clients, I make them go and, and financially check out how much it costs you to have a, a, any home repairs, how, how much it costs you to get a tune up that your, that your man goes and gets done for you. How much does it cost you to fill up your tank? I bet you haven't filled your tank up in a long time, have you? No, he he does that for me. Mm -hmm. And you appreciate none of it. <laughs> you only appreciate when that man brings you flowers or buys you diamonds. But you're missing it. You're missing the value of the love you're receiving because you don't get it. You're not acknowledging it because you don't know it. I say all the time, the best intimacy comes from when you have a knowledge, understanding. Oh, so this is what you do. Instead of just saying thank you, go up to them and say, listen, I really, seriously, honestly, and be honest and be sincere. I really honestly appreciate you in my life, man. You made a difference for me. I really appreciate you. I really care about what you do for me when I don't pay attention. You know, if you don't get your tires filled up and you're driving on a highway, it's very dangerous. <laughs> Prime example, I fuss at my daughter all the time because her tires, I don't know what's going on with them, but they're, they deflate all the time and I'm always fussing at her. Girl, if you don't get these tires filled up, I'm going to knock your head off, right? And she looks at me, I know mom and i always come back with knowing and doing are two different things which that's another that's another conversation for another day but knowing and doing are two different things you need to get these tires filled up you were riding on that highway and if you hit a, a bump or something like that it's definitely dangerous to be on the highway and you your tires are not filled up and and has the proper amount of air in them I fuss at her all the time about that. But a lot of women have men that fill their tires, know what the pressure amount is supposed to be, know the tire, they got the tire gauge, they check your stuff. When you go into the gas station after you filling up your tires, I mean, filling up your gas, when you go in there, your man's going around your tires and checking the tire pressure, unless you have the gauge on your vehicle that checks it for you. He's checking that shit for you. And he's making sure that your tire pressure is where it needs to be. That's provisions. Remember I said men love with provision. Men also love with correction too. Oh, women cannot stand when a man tries to tell her something. What do you want to tell me now? I can't never get nothing right. You're always complaining. No, he's always provisional. So if he's telling you something, it's because he's trying to get you to do something better than what you're doing. It's going to help you. <laughs> I can't do this, guys. <laughs> it's going to help you in the long run. When he gives you direction, gives you correction, it's not for you to get upset over. It's for you to take heed of. We don't learn to appreciate this stuff, man. And when we don't appreciate what a man is telling us, we end up finding out the hard damn way. You want to hear something funny? I was probably about 21 years old, right? I went and visited my dad. Now, my dad and mom married till death did them part. But anyway, my, my mom passed in 03. Anyway, I pull in the driveway and dad says to me, he looks at my car and he's like, uh, when's the last time you checked the air in your car on your tires? Oh, I don't know, Dad. You know, da, 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 you know, just all. Oh, I'm doing this and doing that. He's like, but what I'm asking you is, when's the last time you checked the tire pressure on your tires? 
I don't know, Dad. I don't think I did. He's like, okay, come here. Let me show you something. He goes in the garage. He pulls out his t tire gauge and shows me something. You see right here? Here's the tire gauge. You put it in here. It tells you how much pressure you have in your tires, right? I'm like, okay. Okay. So when your tire pressure is low, when your tires are square, put air in them. We laughed about that forever. When your tires are square, put air in them. Ha, 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 he, 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 and I just laughed about it. But no, when I ended up having a flat tire, I'm now calling my father because I lived, I worked in Westlake, Ohio, which is like a suburb of Cleveland. I had to call my dad, dad, can you come and get me? My tires went flat and now I don't have a tire. Da, 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 da. He's like, didn't I tell you to start paying attention to your tire pressure? When's the last time I didn't check it, Dad? I content, and then he said, I continue to tell you to try to do things beforehand so that you're not in these circumstances and situations. And my, my life looked like that a lot for a long time. Because I wasn't putting, not, not only was I not putting pressure, air pressure in my tires, I wasn't doing a lot of shit to maintain a vehicle. So it was constantly driving my, my, my raggedy car to my father to get him to help me to fix it. And he says to me, when's the last time you got your, your oil cha checked and changed? Oh, am I supposed to get that done too? Yes, you need to, you can't, you're going to lock your engine up. Oh. Did I know that as love, as expression of love from him? No, I was really agitated by it. <laughs> Very agitated by it. And not only agitated, but but angry with him. Because I'm like, he's just complaining and all he does is tell me what to do. And that I'm not doing stuff right. And he's always this and always that. But damn it, he was always right. And then I'm sitting back thinking, well, damn, I appreciate it now. And who's doing the fussing to my daughter now? Morgan. I'm didn't I tell you to get air pressure in these tires? What is going on with your tires? How funny is that, right? How funny is that? So when we want to be in love affairs, and we do, you know, we love, we love men. We love relationships, right? We love being in love affairs and all that stuff. But what we're not realizing is it, it's not always hunky-dory. Your man's going to tell you some shit you don't want to hear. He is not going to always be pleased with you and applauding you for stuff that you do. Not happening. Again, correction from a man we hate. Cannot stand it. What do you want to tell me now? Did you do this? Did you do that? Oh, here he goes. Right? Don't we tell our girlfriends, here he goes. He's starting all that damn complaining again. He's getting ready to start. And, ah, uh, right? This is why I say we got to start studying our lover. Because we got to start paying attention to when a man is telling you or advising you or, or critiquing you or telling you something you may not want to hear. It's for your best, it's, it's in your best interest. If you're with a man that really truly loves you, if you're not with a man that doesn't really love you, then he's just, he just may be on some other shit. But I'm talking about healthy, healthy relationships. Men that really care about you and really love you, they're going to tell you something that is going to benefit you long in the long term, right? So um, it's vitally important that you sit down and accept that this is an act of love. He's, he's telling me how to budget my bills because he's trying to get me prepared for if something happens to him or I that we have and uh, we both have a joint understanding on how to keep the, how to keep the financial health good. We don't want to hear that. We just want to take the cards and go and shop. We just want to do what we want to do. We want to be able to go to Amazon and buy. We don't want to learn all of that. We want to just be allowed to take the black card and go and just have fun. But who's paying the bills though? You both are going to be responsible for those bills to get paid. So if, and God forbid, heaven forbid something happens to him. 
where now you have to take care of everything and you don't know anything about managing your bit your 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 bills managing checking on the stock prices you don't know nothing about how to make sure that the finances are good have no clue about none of that and now you're frustrated and you're like i don't know what i'm doing and he's gotten sick and now i have to do it all and oh my god and i had my life of luxury and now it's gone no you just didn't value when he was trying to sit you down and teach you something you didn't want to hear it I don't want this from you. I don't want you to teach me nothing. Can you just take care of me, please? I just want you to buy me things and take me here and there. That's all nice, but that's not enough. And men don't love that way. <laughs> and stop trying to make him love you the way you love him. Stop putting these high expectations that he's going to take you here and take you there and buy you this and buy you that. Because as long as you stay focused on loving, on, on only expecting him to love you the way you love him, you're going to be sadly disappointed and you're going to be missing the true value of that man in your life. I'm trying to teach y'all ladies something is vitally important. You got to share this video because there's a lot of women that I'm telling you are in this right now. They aren't thinking about, they are not thinking even in the remote slightest place that that man checking on her stuff for her is even a, an act of love an expression of care his concern for her he's she's not thinking about that she's trying to see when he's gonna buy her something i'm waiting for him to tell me when we're going uh when the airline tickets are coming in i'm trying to see when he's gonna buy me something and buy me this and buy me that we're missing something we're not valuing the right things, man. We're missing something. When it comes down to love, we've got to study that lover. We've got to know, how does he love? Wait a minute. You loving me? Really? Yeah. Okay, so how do you love me? Tell me. We never ask. Shit. We just assume. We know. As long as he brings them flowers in once a month, we know he loves us. That's... <laughs> That's the way you love. But how does he love? How does he show? What is his ways of expressing? We got to start doing better with this because the love affairs aren't looking good. Trust me, I'm getting the clients <laughs> because the love affairs are in the balance. They're in the red zone. They're in some of them are in the danger zone because nobody wants to acknowledge this is how he loves and this is how I love. So wait a minute. So coach, what you're telling me is I need to know how he loves. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. Yes, you need to know and not just assume. No. What is he doing for you? Is he up in, in, in the middle of the night going through financial stuff and reports while you sleeping in your beauty sleep? Is he doing those things for you? Is he checking the stock prices for you? Is he looking to make sure the investments are good? Is he checking on the investment properties? Are you paying attention is the question. <laughs> those things, those acts that you see him doing that you just disregard or ignore or don't pay attention to are acts of love for you. Let me tell you another thing. If you want to know if a man loves you or not, see what kind of provisions he's got up for you. And the higher your ranking of love he has for you, you're his ice. Do you know what your ice, do you know what kind of ice, do you know what ice means? If you are important to that man and you are significant in his life, you are his ice. I'm not talking about the diamonds. I'm talking about ice in case of emergency. <laughs> You're in his phone. If something happens to me, get a hold to her. I trust her with my life. We don't want to talk about that though, do we? You're that man's ice if you are significant to him. In case of an emergency, you want people to contact me? Do you know what that means? That is love all day. That is an act of love. We miss it. Ladies, we're missing it.
We're missing it because we're not talking about this stuff. We want to talk about what he buys us. We want to brag to our girls about that, right? Oh, he bought me this. He bought me. I took me here. Okay, but what is he doing for you outside of that that you're not paying attention to, that you don't even value, that you don't even think about? We don't. We don't think about certain things like this. We don't because that's not how we love, ladies. We love different. We love based upon what we can see touch what kind of smell the roses are and what color they were and all that that's nice yes and i'm not taking away from that because we do receive beautiful things like that but we're missing something significant and i cannot express enough if you don't pay attention and study that lover pay attention and see wait a minute i'm missing something here he does stuff for me and i'm missing something here wow makes you sit back don't it like i told you correction is not something we even value as a something we we get so aggravated by it we don't we don't listen i don't want to hear you tell me another thing i'm not doing i don't want to hear it we don't want to sit down with him when he's trying to show us the financial stuff oh girlfriends i gotta call y'all back he's wanting to go over these books and, and the bills and stuff it's like, you don't want to brag about that part? He's making sure you're good. That that's not appreciated, right? We don't want to, oh, I don't. Oh, I just want to go to the mall, right? <laughs> love affairs, man. Love requires us to learn our lover. We need to pay attention to what our lover is doing for us. We need to pay attention to what it takes to really sustain a love affair, to really enjoy it. Because a lot of people are, are distressed because they don't have love. But the reason they don't have it is because they got all these expectations of what they want. But they're missing something. When you really have love for someone and care for someone, you expect nothing and appreciate everything. When you appreciate someone that you love and you really sit down and say, you know what? Don't worry about all that. I'm going to take myself out. I want to go to uh, the spa. I, don't worry about it, baby. I, I got me. I'm going to put the expectations on what I want on me. So now you do you and I'll do me. Now my pressure of you buying me this and taking me here is over. You don't have to do all that. <laughs> I'm good. I'll take care of that. When you do that, and he's now in not not at in now he's not in obligation to it. Now he's like, man, you know, we used to do stuff. Why aren't we doing it anymore? I listen, I, I still go. I still do me, honey. I still <laughs> I still got things I do, but we just haven't done it because I don't put the pressure on you. You don't have to do that to show me you love me. I know, I know what I know where I stand to you in your life. I know how significant I am to you, so I don't need all that. I'm good. If I want to go somewhere, I might call my girls. Hey, let's go do do do. Or I might go by my damn self because maybe I just want to be alone. It's good. I'm good. All I want from you is to continue loving me the way you do. I appreciate everything you do for me. Do you know what that does? Now, if you do receive stuff, things, trips, diamonds, is now from a space of, I just was moved to give it to you. I happened to walk by and saw something and caught my eye and I bought it for you. It's not because I, let me get this for her. I won't hear the end of it. Totally different energy. See, when we sit down and we pay attention and we learn our lover, we stop learning that that person is not responsible for my own peace. That person is not responsible for my joy. That person's not responsible for my happiness. I'm responsible for that part. Period. So when I get to that understanding, I'm like, okay. Now I can just really enjoy being with you. Now I can really enjoy our, our unity, our intimacy. Now the pressure's off because now you don't feel obligated to do stuff that's really not you. <laughs> I said earlier, most men are not trying to go to the mall and, and, and shop with you all day. They're just not trying to do all that. 
And so when you understand that, you're like, oh, God, I'm putting this man through through torment just to take me here and take me there and do this and do that with me. Let me do that. And then when we have our intimate time together, we can spend time just enjoying each other. Now the pressure isn't all about him taking me here and taking me there. Because I studied my man, I learned he values me and shows me how he loves me these ways. And since he's shown me how he loves me these ways, I now appreciate those ways. And now the intimacy is stronger because now when he goes and gets my coffee ready for me, while I'm in the shower doing my thing and getting my hair done and stuff, he's already got the cup of coffee ready. That cup of coffee now tastes way better than it used to. <laughs> that cup of coffee means more to me now. Because I know he took it out of his time to get up out of his out of our bed and go downstairs, go to the Keurig, put my tea and put my coffee in the cup the way I like it. Made sure I had the creamer right, the seat, the sweetener right. He had everything right, and now I appreciate it. And now that cup of coffee, honey, <laughs> tastes so much better because now I really value it. Now I really, really appreciate it. I didn't realize how much I didn't appreciate him before. But now I do. Now I do. I've checked in. I've learned to value where he's at and how he expresses love for me. I've taken away all of the expectations. I stopped caring about what he's not doing and he doesn't love me like I love him and all this other stuff. I've changed the way I love him based upon how I loved him. I changed it to now understanding because see love has to require understanding or we're not loving properly. We're all over the damn place. We're frustrated. Well, he, he didn't take me to Victoria's secrets and I wanted to go or we didn't go to, to St. Paris, and I thought we were going to go, shit happens. Stuff happens. Okay, you didn't go. So do something else for yourself. If you're that upset, you take care of that. It is not his responsibility to make you feel good by taking you somewhere. Get off of it. You really want to learn how to improve your love affair and how to improve your, your intimacy you got to get off of expecting someone to love you exactly the same way you love them. And change it. Be more, be more willing to engage and allow them to be them. <laughs> it changes everything. Because now my high expectations of you doing something for me is now, on, is now on my shoulders. So I guess my expectations won't be so high. Because I'm not going to want to do all of that. I'm going to start to change. And when you do that, you start to change your taste in your mouth for that. You start to be like, well, you know, I don't need to do all that. Let me, let me see what he's up to. He does get up every morning and check that financial report. Maybe I need to get my ass up. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set my alarm. He gets up and I don't pay no attention to it. I'm going to get up with him. Hey, babe, what you doing down here? Well, and he's going to have all them books. I'm warning you now. All them books, all the receipts, all the bills, all the numbers. And you're going to be like, Lord, help me get through this. But learn it anyway. You said you love him, right? Learn it anyway. Sit your ass down and learn. Bring him on over here. Okay. So get your pen, get your paper and pay attention. That man already has, well, look, I got this already mapped out for us. This is what we're going to do with our finances. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Be like, okay. Oh, man, this is a lot. It is. But it's something he's doing for you. And you sleeping through it. <laughs> like I said, ask widows. Widows will tell you what that husband did for them that they didn't acknowledge till he was gone. And they regret it now. <laughs> They're like, damn, I should have. I should have been paying attention because he used to always make sure my oil was changed. He used to always make sure my tire pressure was right. Yeah, now you out there. <laughs> and you really are upset that you didn't acknowledge that that was his way of loving you. You missed it. You missed it. It went whoop, right over your head. But you didn't buy me this. You didn't buy me. You don't take me to the ball. It's like, okay. 
I hope I'm helping you guys this morning. It's early. A lot of y'all will probably catch this on the replay. But listen, study that lover, honey. Study him. Pay attention. Take the time to realize that if you can really trust that that man is looking out for you on the small shit, I'm not talking about taking you here and taking you there and buying you, buying this and buying that. I'm talking about he's really showing you by acts of sitting down and being provisional and looking out for you. And then you notice, well, wait a minute. <laughs> All that he's doing for me, I never realized that that was acts of love. I missed it. Yes, you missed it. <laughs> and it is okay that you missed it, but you got to do better with that now. And since I gave you the skinny on this, I'm going to need for you to now acknowledge that. I'm going to need you to pay attention to this. Because what we're having in, in, in coaching sessions I got going on is many women don't acknowledge what he's doing. Don't even value it. Don't even appreciate it. So the men are really frustrated. They're upset. They feel devalued. How do you think a devalued man is going to feel in a relationship with you if he doesn't know that you understand or appreciate him? He's going to seek it from somewhere else. Or he's going to be miserable in the and, and tormented in the relationship with you. <laughs> that is miserable. Who wants to be in that? That is miserable. You've got to step up your game, ladies, and start to pay attention. This man loves me this way. He's showing me this way. Talk about it, man. We don't talk enough about stuff that really freaking matters. We talk about stuff that don't mean nothing. We don't really take the time to sit down and say, okay, baby, listen, you know, you're getting my oil changed how often? <laughs> Let me write this down. How often is the tune-ups needed? Baby, when are you changing the uh the filter in the in the in the heat in the uh furnace? Babe, are you when do you check the vents outside for the dryer? I didn't I didn't know nothing about that, babe. I didn't know. Uh how often are you cleaning the gutters out? Well, let me write this that let me write this down. We don't pay attention. He's looking out for you. Do you change your dryer vent? If you don't, you can catch the house on fire. <laughs> Men do all kinds of stuff we don't acknowledge. And we don't find out till later when they're gone. And then we're saddened and upset. And now we're trying to figure it all out. And all distressed. And <sighs> Women that paid attention to what the man was doing when he was here. They're more ready for when he's not. They're, they're more ready for the un, unexpected event. Could be health, could be anything. They're ready because they paid attention. Okay, my, 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 my honey has a, a surgery or has a trip he's got to take for a month or two. Uh, hey, okay, I can, I can handle these bills. Let's go. All right, well, what we got? Okay, so we already did the tune-up. So let's see. Uh, the next is the oil change. So I'll go ahead and take care of that. And then, oh, what's the gutters looking like? Okay, we got the gutters checked on this date. Okay, so it's due this date. So let me go ahead and set that appointment up so the guys can come over here and clean my gutters out. So now, because you were appreciating and aware and you have the knowledge of that man's doing what he's doing for you in your life, you now can implement and do those things if something happens where he's gone or he's got some health issues or you now have something that went awry or he passes on. You're no longer in distress. You're going to miss the shit out of him. Yes. But you're going to know what to do. That's love. <laughs> we don't appreciate that. We don't appreciate when he says, hey, did you check the, the you know, the list? And we can also lighten that man's load. If we can sit down and say, well, wait a minute, babe. Let me take half of that list. Let me see what I can do for you. Let's work as a team. It's just not all about me going here and going there and you buying me this and buying me that. Don't get, a, don't get it twisted. I like that. But let me help you with this list. Let me see if I can do something. Show me how to check the air pressure in the tires. 
hope I help somebody today. Listen, got to learn that lover. If you guys are wanting to have me do a actual course on this, and I can, you just got to show up. You really want to learn? You want you want your love affair different? You want to start importing more joy in your love affairs? You want to have something to be excited about? It starts with you. <laughs> and then you also need to educate yourself on how you're loving someone. And are you doing it right? Are you doing it right? That's one of the greatest things about this love. Is that when we know how we love, we can now see, okay, I love this way. But it doesn't mean that the way I love is going to take away from the way they love. It's just, I love this way. Right? Now, in my love and how I do it, it's fine. But I don't have to have that man to love me the same. I just need that man to love me his way. And then, when I have that. I'll have the greatest love affair. And then I don't even have to expect nothing. I'm often surprised. Often. Like, really? Oh. I didn't know you thought about me. Yeah, I happened to go here and I, I thought about you and I want to do this for you. And okay. It's not out of obligation now. It's out of desire for me. Because I took the pressure off. When you take the pressure off, you find out, oh my God. I'm getting love I never thought I would. He's caring about me. And I'm getting it because I'm not forcing it. <laughs> we as women love to force stuff, do we not? We want to force everything. Well, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want him to take me here and take me there. And I want to brag to my friends. Oh, but did you know? Hey, honey, did you know that Cindy's husband, he took her here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> little you know our little clues we like to give them just enjoy the way they love and appreciate them while they're here because the widows they don't have that chance no more they they now have to figure it out the hard way i'm trying to give y'all this gift right now the the early way the easy way and even in the beginning you could sit down and be like damn i'm really starting to get some care around here I'm starting to see, you know, he's fixing the vacuum cleaners and shit. He's doing this and doing that. I'm now appreciating the shit out of that. Because I didn't realize after I looked up, my coach told me to look up how much it costs for a mechanic and how much it costs for a plumber and a roofer and a, my husband's all that. And I never really appreciated how much he's saving me. Not just financially. He's saving you psychologically. Because do you know what it feels like when, unevent, when unexpected events keep happening? It costs not only money, but stress. That man making sure the provisions are in place is trying to lessen your stress. Which, guess what? When he lessens your stress, you have a more val uh, val valued, high, impactful, joyful life. Because now my stress level is low. Now I don't have to worry all the time. My anxiety in here is here because he's making sure provisions are in place. He's making sure things are in place. He's making sure we, we do this before this happens. He's boarding up the house before the storm comes. So now that I have him to make sure that my stressor uh, uh, or, or concern or all this headache and stuff is gone because I don't have that. I don't have it now. Because now he's putting things in place for me. That's how he loves me. And all this time, I missed it. <laughs> Ask widows, man. I tell women all the time, different types of assignments to do. Messing with me, I'm going to have a woman ready. I tell them all the time, go talk to some widows. No, I'm talking, go take your ass down to the, down to the, uh, the senior center and talk to some elders. Talk to some older women. Talk to them. Let them talk to you. Let them tell you about what they're missing. They will tell you all the stuff that you don't want, that you don't want to acknowledge or appreciate. They're going to tell you what you're missing. And then when they tell you that, sit in it. Don't just start talking and over talking them when they're talking to you. Let's sit in it. Pay attention. Listen to them. And be like, oh. <laughs> 
So he did what? <laughs> he saved you how? Oh, I didn't know. Well, now that you are aware, now we can get to love it better. Now we can get to see, oh, well, now I see that if I have a man that's going to make sure that I have certain things in place, now I know that's something to be valued. And now that I have that knowledge, now I can now value and love him on a whole nother level. Now I'm loving him properly because I now know to not take advantage of it. I know to now see, oh, so you loving me like this. Okay, okay. And it often changes. It often changes. So don't get comfortable in thinking, well, he does all that. Okay, I figured it out. No. No, keep studying. Study don't just stop. Just because you figured out he does this and that. The obvious stuff I told you, that's not, that's not it. <laughs> oh, you thought you were done. No, you have to continue to study. Because at the end of the day, he is a... He is a book. He is a he's a puzzle. You don't you're not going to figure it all out in one day. You're not going to figure out, "Oh, he did this for me." Okay. No. What else is he setting up for you that helps you in your life to go in this journey with him? It's not all just black and white. You have to sit down and pay attention. Oh. So you're also doing this. Oh, okay. Just telling you you got to learn, ladies, that love is very much a journey, but love is also powerful when we love properly, when we love with, with understanding. It changes everything because now we're not just caught up in the dating and the sex and the hugs and the kisses. We're not just caught up all up in that. We're also caught up in, nah, he really freaking values my ass. He went in there and he did this for me like i didn't even know i didn't even know he put something in place for me and it saved my life i didn't even know yeah that's what men are good for i'm helping y'all today share this video so i'm going to get to my saturday i'm gonna have to do some create some more jewelry um if you guys need help and need, you know if you want better love lives ask me for coaching honey that's what i do inbox me or you can hashtag I want to smile to 844-594-7366 and I can help you to do that but um you got to be willing to listen <laughs> and of course if you don't remember that video go back and watch it listening matters trust me I'm out of here guys it's Carla Nicole I'm signing off best kept.